I'm Joshua from HasFit Pro Performance, and today we have a, a soccer strength conditioning workout for you. Um, just let, let you know there's two things that make this a soccer strength conditioning workout. First one is uh, efficiency. I've trained a lot of soccer players, including some U.S. national guys, and just so you know, I, I, I understand, fully understand you're playing soccer six, seven days a week. So with that in mind, it makes it really difficult for you to also do strength training. So this workout is designed to get every body part and get everything you need in one session. Uh, so you can do this one time per week over the next four weeks and you'd see considerable results. And the second thing is uh, functionality. These movements all uh, create actual uh, strength that you could use in a game and size that you could use in a game, opposed to un, uh, unfunctional size that just weighs you down on the field and I'm not really stronger. I, I might look a little better, might felt my shirt a little better, but now I'm slower. So this workout will actually help you, uh, you know, help push people off the ball and just feel more confident on the field without slowing you down. So first one we're gonna do will be a, a dumbbell sumo deadlift plus push jerk. Feet are wide, toes pointed out just a little bit. I'm gonna sit back with the weight in my butt and as I stand up, I'm gonna push the dumbbell straight up overhead. Using my legs, weight in my butt, push straight up overhead. You could also use a barbell for this movement. Go back, weights in my hips, push overhead. Second one we're gonna do is gonna be a dumbbell high snatch pull from the hang. So the hang, all it is is put my butt back, load my hips, bring the weight to my knees, and then I'm gonna explosively bring my elbows high, coming onto the balls of my feet. Butt back, elbows high, coming on the balls of my feet. Again, all, you could also use a barbell for this one. Elbows high, not hands high, elbows high. So, third one we're gonna do is over at the pull-ups. Um, I've trained, like I said, most of the soccer players I've trained have had a kind of weak upper bodies. So first I'm gonna show you, if, if you fall into that category, the easier pull-up, and if you can't do eight or more pull-ups, I'd like you to do this version until you're able to, and then you can switch to the normal pull-up. So I have a little step here, I'm gonna step up, I'm gonna do a negative pull-up, I'm coming up, and then all I have to do is control myself as I come down for five seconds. And then I stand back up. One, two, three, four, five. Again. So each one of those will be one rep. And if you're able to, I'd like you to do it. Uh, uh, I'll go ahead and do a full chin up all the way down, all the way up. But again, only if you're able to do eight or more. And the last one we're going to do is an uh, explosive ab workout. It's definitely uh, not easy. It's going to be a plank knee tuck. So I'm going to get in a high plank position, and I'm going to uh, jump my knees up to my chest and back. Now, I might be making that one look easy. That one's definitely difficult. Um, so we got four exercises, all designed to make you better on the field. I'm Joshua from Hasfit Pro Performance. Go to hasfit.com to get all the workout instructions and how we put it all together. And if you like this workout and you want more, go to facebook.com slash hasfitness uh, and like our fan page. Have a great workout.